Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. This video is dedicated to one of the you know data import technique in NLP known as web scrapping. Okay. So how do you go to a web page and extract the data for the analysis in natural language processing. That is what I am going to teach you in this video through the python code and examples. Before that let us see some of the basics of NLP. Okay. So NLP standing for natural language processing has been typically broken into two sub areas known as known as natural language generation and natural language understanding. Okay. So what is natural language generation? So I do not know if you have noticed that or not. Uh, this is a new feature in Gmail actually it was not there uh, two three years back. So if you go to Gmail and start typing an email you will see that at the moment you write something like thanks it will suggest you thanks for your email something like that the suggestion will come you press the tab and enter and that suggestion will be auto populated similarly there are other implementation of natural language generation so what is the meaning of generation the meaning of generation is we are trying to generate the natural language okay in in some chat bot in some bot systems you will see that bot is answering you in your language right so all those area of study come under the you know wing of natural language generation okay so what is natural language understanding so natural natural language understanding is every time you write in zomato where is my food system is understanding that and responding to you that is natural language processing so when you talk to siri and you say hey siri call my mom so siri is understanding your you know human language and trying to understand that and then follow the instructions so that comes under the category of natural language understanding so that is the broader division now why i am telling you all this the reason is to start with we will focus on natural language understanding this area because this is the place where you know you should start learning how nlp ecosystem works in nlu also in natural language understanding also what kind of natural language we will try to understand so there can be two main categories one is known as speech and other is known as text so like the example i gave you for siri siri is trying to understand the speech right but on the other hand when you talk to a, when you chat with a chatbot chatbot tries to understand your text so to start with we will focus on natural language understanding of text and how do we derive the meaning from text and how do we implement machine learning on the text so to do this the very first thing we should follow in a data science project life cycle is import of the data right so where from to import the data now if i ask you where all you see text data so obviously facebook twitter instagram those places in emails in some pdf files word files you know in some it, it may be sitting on some server for example some uh, complaint request you put on uh, flipkart maybe they are storing all the complaint text in a table in a rdbms system so that can be a source of your text data so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you in this video one technique out of all the data import techniques known as web scrapping so what is web scrapping web scrapping is nothing but getting the data from the web page from the internet what data you need okay so i'll take an article news article and show you how can you extract that article from a live web page using python let's see that in my machine Let's start a simple example of how to do the targeted web content from web page. So how to fetch the targeted web content. Now what is the meaning of this is if I go to a particular web page for example I am going to this article from Times of India. Okay. So what I am interested in I am interested in fetching the main article. So where is the main article the main article starts here there has been an increase in demand for data scientists and it ends here okay so data science is still evolving so here it ends so i'm not interested in fetching any of these links any of these other things i'm just interested in main article so how to do that let us see it so for doing that we will we will have to use some of the packages for example request time and beautiful soup okay i'm just storing that url inside a variable i'm calling that variable as url okay and then i'm writing a command request dot get url which means go to that url and fetch the content of that web page now when you check what is there in response and if you see a number like 200 
it means that your request went well it means there was no problem if you see other number like 400 or 510 then that means there is some problem with that request okay now my my request has been responded from the web page now what i am doing is i am using beautiful soup from this uh, package i had imported and then i am saying response dot text so this is my response response dot text html dot parser okay so i have that output in a object in a variable called soup okay now what is there in soup it has all the content from that particular web page if you see it is all the html content from that web page but we do not want everything what we are interested in as i told you we are interested in starting from here ending towards the end of the article okay so what we have to do is we have to give the instruction to the python saying give me only this part now how to do that so you have to just go here and say right click inspect element so when you do a inspect element on any web page something like this will open so this will this is nothing but an html structure of that web page okay so from this html structure of this web page i go and search the content i am interested in so what i am interested in there has been an so no need to write everything so if i write this there has been an increase as you can see here there are six occurrences of there has been an but which occurrence i am interested in so i'll be interested in this particular occurrence so if i come here if i keep my cursor here as you can see the left hand side is getting shaded that means that this is this is the part which is of my use okay and now if i take my cursor so my intention here is to know under which particular part of the html page this content is there okay so let us try to understand under which div so div is nothing but a division of the html page to under which div my entire content is so if i keep my cursor in div normal i see that all the content that i need to take comes under this div and if i take the content inside div class section 1 then you will be able to see that all my content is getting covered for example uh, if i take my cursor here to section 1 so i need up to here so this is the end of my article right data science is still evolving so it is coming up to here which means i should consider this div section 1 so what i do next is i come here and say to soup object give me only content inside that div right so how we do that i just say soup dot find div find div which div it has to find the div for which class is section 1 now i will have the needed content in content but this content variable will have also the structure of the html page inside that div for example inside that div all the text is there but there is also these things br br which stands for break and then script so these things we do not want we just want plain text right so how to extract plain text i am just initializing an object article with blank and i am saying for i in go to the content and find all the divs so all the plain text are inside the divs and then take all the text from those i's i is nothing but all the div one by one and just joining with the main article so when i run this what i get is all the article starting from where i needed to where it is ending so this is the last line data science is still evolving right and starting from there has been an increase in demand so this is what i was intending to get so this is how you do that targeted fetch from a particular web page now why this is important is let us say you have to fetch the comments about a product from amazon page so how do you do that you go to the amazon page and in the similar way you figure out where is your content in the html tree where is your content and then accordingly you have to write the code so when i do some other use cases in nlp i'll also show you how to do the different types of web scraping for example fetching all the contents fetching n number of articles fetching uh, different comments fetching all the tweets of a particular twitter handle so all those things i will show you in upcoming videos so this is the content we needed but it has some junk as well as you can see here this is the junk now what is that junk that junk is the ad coming on this page okay so this is the ad coming on that page 
and that is this junk so we have to get rid of this junk so i'll show you how to do that in upcoming video as well and if you have any doubts on this video let me know through comment let me know through likes and comments how are you liking the nlp series i'll see you all in the next video till then stay safe take care